Member from Pickering Scarborough East. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure. Minister, it was recently announced that the Ministry of Transportation would be phasing in incremental increases on a number of various MTO services, such as replacing lost driver's license, issuing permits for off-road vehicles, and plate validation renewals. These fees have been around for decades, as we all know. Ontarians understand when they use certain services, a reasonable fee is involved to cover the cost of providing that service. Mr. Speaker, through you to the Minister, do these increases ensure that MTO's fee structures remain fair for the taxpayers of Pickering Scarborough East and all Ontarians, while allowing priority investments to be made in the future Question. for our transportation infrastructure? Thank, thank you. you. Mr. Speaker, I thank the member of uh, Pickering Scarborough East for the question. And indeed, these changes do safeguard that Ontario's fees remain fair for all types of road users. The fact of the matter is, the last time these fees for automobile validation renewals were raised was in 1997, 15 years ago, when the members for Halton, Oxford, Durham, Oshawa, Newmarket Aurora, Haldeman Norfolk, York Simcoe, and Wellington Halton Hills, all Conservatives voted to raise them. Another fact is that inflation alone over the past 15, 20, and 25 years has led to many of these fees being critically below the cost of the service they are designed to cover. That difference is something that taxpayers ultimately end up having Answer. to absorb, and that disparity only grows over time. So rather than subsidizing someone else's driver's license thank replacement you. or snowmobile per Thank you. Uh, and thank you, Minister. I can't think of many services in Ontario where the cost, uh, the cost of those services is the same or less as they were 20 years ago, in 1992. Car washes, theatre tickets, newspapers cost significantly more nowadays than they did 20 years ago, even though these things have changed very little, if anything, in two decades. I think most taxpayers would agree that essentially subsidizing other people's things like snowmobile permits is not necessarily an efficient or fair use of their tax dollars. I know the PC party disagrees with that, and we all know they are for keeping unsustainable subsidies in place these days. Mr. Speaker, can the minister assure Ontarians that Ontario fees will not become an undue disadvantage relative to other provinces Question. in our country? Thank, Thank you, you very much. Mr. Speaker, the member raises some interesting parallels. Uh, our fees are being brought more into line with the national average but will remain lower than most even in 2015. Mr. Speaker, with respect to passenger vehicle validation fees, right now in New Brunswick, for example, the fee is $172. It's in British lot. Columbia, it's $142. In Manitoba, it's $119. In Quebec, it's $104. In Nova Scotia, it's $100. In Ontario, it is $74. And in 2015, the maximum fee in Ontario will be $98, still below all of the above. Mr. Speaker, there are some tough choices that lie ahead, but when faced with the choice between supporting better health care, better education, and better roads, or supporting millions in subsidies Answer. for racetracks and snowmobile permits, unlike the party opposite, our party will choose better health care, better education. Thank you. Thank you. Question.